I certainly don't want to distribute any active function. So I think with that, in mind, if you, if you can put that on the table for that, hey, I'm here for the patient. I have this great protocol, I have these great ideas. Um, if they don't work, I'm open to anything. Let's know so what it is. And I, and I really think that really um, forwards the, the conversation because when they realize you're there for the patient and you're not there to kind of push your own agenda to do they, they really say, well, what do you have to offer? And they, they seem to listen. That's, these are some things I get because a lot of the um, other acupuncturists I work with are physicians. Dr. Foreman, Dr. Neenzel, Dr. Burns, and then a few other medical doctors locally here. Um, really get to know these guys and just knowing how to speak to them. You know, really put people off by talking words hurt they never heard. It seems like these people were medicine for 20 or 30 years. They're you know, looking at you like you're from Mars and they're like, whatever. Exactly. And so then the but next. I think for a long time, yeah. that was our problem. That's right. And so then the next question, the next issue then becomes, how do we communicate these culturally based concepts? Maria Mulcahy works at a hospital here in Chicago, and uh, she actually does talk to, uh, to uh, medical students who are coming through and has something to say on this matter. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to say that, that you're absolutely right. You can turn people off or you can put them, put them to sleep or you can um, have them really look at you blankly if you start to talk theory. And, and it's a sure way to shut them down and to, and to bury your cause too fast. Um, and so I've been focused more on trying to understand the doctors themselves and see where their burning questions lie. Um, and I, when I get a, a resident in my clinic, um, I talk about chi briefly, and I talk about the energetic system, and and what I highlight for them is that our diagnostic helps to uncover an imbalance that won't show up on the MRI, that won't show up in the blood work, that won't show up in any of the traditional diagnostics. And I say, you have these patients who are complaining, and they say, I don't care, I have a headache. I have a headache that's been lasting now for a month, and nobody knows why. And they nod their heads and they say, right, you know, this is, they do have this place, this wall to come up against. And so to say that we have a different diagnostic that uncovers an energetic imbalance, that by correcting that, we, we get great results. Then they're engaged. Then they want to know more. Then they would like to see the treatment. Then they would like to get one themselves. Then they would like to, you know, and that's, that's the ripple effect I think that Frank is talking about. So I, I think that first and foremost, we have to, if we want to talk effectively to doctors, we have to cut to the chase with where they have a problem in their own practice. And, and one of the things I love talking about and leading with when I have to speak to doctors is that I understand that they are swamped with patients who have non-specific complaints. And again, they now just up and down and they say, absolutely, if you have people who can't sleep right, who have nausea, who have dizziness, but they don't, it doesn't add up to concrete or, or, or you know, cardboard disease. And so, and so to offer acupuncture as a way to take a first line of defense against those kind of symptoms is in some ways, um, you know, not to be too all about it, but to get some of these patients off of their backs, quite frankly. The ones who are coming back and saying, oh, you know, I'm better, but not quite. And, and it's, it's very powerful. That's, that's when I get most of some interest from the doctors, when they feel that I have something that will help them with that sort of problem. It's almost a form of uh, triage, where you're really tearing triage, and you're, you're, you're funneling the serious patients where they need the most heroic care, and pre-screening patients with subclinical issues that are really displacing those people that need the care. I want to see if we...